Uh-oh. Uh that, that's, that ain't right. Ah, yes. The relaxing, dulcet tunes of the Wii U menu. As it dies. <gasps> hey, uh... Ha have any of you seen this before? <laughs> Did my Wii U just crash? Let me, uh... Let me do what it says here. I have, I have not encountered this before. One, two, three, four. Oh. Yeah, looks fine. Looks good. For now. And the audio's fixed as well, so we've got that going for us. <gasps> okay, is that normal? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm being like very cautiously optimistic right now, but I think I think it's working now. Is it wrong of me to like men in maid outfits? Well, as men in maid outfit, I say no. Also, uh Sire Gulis, Serigulus, I don't know how you say your name, but uh if you could take a screenshot, or I guess if anybody who's in the Griffin Galactic Discord can take a screenshot of that uh for next time. That's actually some helpful cuphead advice, so, um, kind of put that in your back pocket. Anyways, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, last time we left off, some serious shit went down. Secrets were revealed. Twists and turns all around. But also since last time, I did some more off-stream stuff. Uh, namely though, uh, can I press X? Thank you. Getting Sharla the good shit. Because I didn't get her uh, intermediate arts before, so I got all the things for all the abilities that she currently has set. So now this is going to be an enormous help in uh, healing up the team, which which tends to be something that I very frequently need. So let's go for it. Griffin, it's not that hard to remember. Well, as somebody who didn't read it, I, I beg to disagree. Disagree. Also, what advice? Th the advice that you put in chat. You said it right the second time. It's Serigulus? Okay. That's a much cooler name than I got. Oh, not enough AP. Hmm. At least for that, that is. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. It's definitely a step up over what we had before. So... Beyond the twists that happened last time, we're going to the something or the other mountain, and we need to board a ship of some kind. Huh. Oh, the arrow. Yeah. Oh, you. Yes. Wait, Magna Forest. But I don't want to go to Magna Forest. How come this thing's just shaped like a uterus? <gasps> well, that was abrupt, but why are we here? I mean, the nighttime theme here is nice, but I'm not sure what our purpose here is. How do you get the, the story memo? How do you get that? Oh, R. Perfect. The party used the short... The party used the short range... It's the wrong tense there. And soon arrive in Machina Forest. Oh no, okay, it's in the right tense. They now have to cross Valak Mountain to reach Galahad Fortress. Right, so how do we... How do we go to... Where is the mountain? Oh, juicy grape, hell yeah. Also, this is where it is. Wait, the bridge is down? 
Oh, my menu is still up. What have you done? What did you do? Bridge broken. It's so inconvenient. Doesn't sound good. Oh, hell yeah. Gay rights. Well, couldn't we just fast travel to the other side of the bridge? Oh no, are we already on the other side of the... I'm not doing this. I'm not giving you my planks. The reward is like a jawbreaker or something like that. I know. Yeah, um, we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, going the other way then. I think this is the, the way the camera had its facing, so I guess that's fine. But I guess that's their excuse for having this area like inaccessible until you uh, go up, until you use the ship. So that begs the question, what's in this direction? You know what, first, I haven't been here in a while and I can't tell if like this is a new area or not, so let me, oh no wait, it's Minus that brings up this. No, it looks filled in to me. Well, actually that isn't, but. Hmm. I don't know, actually. Whoa! Hey, what? Are, uh, are you and I looking at the same thing here? You're telling me that's level 43? Uh, oh, oh, okay then, I guess. I guess we're doing this. We can't lose! Uh, I don't know if I would call it like that, Schultz. This is a grave mistake you are making. Well, I guess we'll see if, <laughs> if that Charlotte thing is going to help out or not. Oh, it resists break. Great. <gasps> Super push. Come on, come on. I mean, the helm is going down pretty quickly, but it also hits, like, insanely hard, so... It's kind of up in the air whether or not we're actually going to be able to do this remotely. Yes, very big boy. What are you doing here? This is the Manolo's power! Right. Yeah, this is what I was getting at. Actually, maybe, maybe, maybe. If I just like spam arts. You know, like the sooner this guy's out of the way. Ooh. Holy shit, <laughs> that was ridiculous. To be honest, I thought that was like a, a unique enemy, but I guess that's just normal around these parts. I can't believe you just felled that thing, and now a bunch of fucking bees are gonna be the end of us. Well, let me wake Charlotte up too. Oops. Can you still fight? Yeah, I, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, let's finish this. Please just give me Shadow Eye, thank you. Meanwhile, Ryan's out here fucking chasing butterflies. I don't need a vision. The only thing I need to see is this battle ending. Oh my god. There's a lot of horizontal movement. The only thing I need to see is Ryan's dick! Here's the thing- Oh, uh, Sir Regulus, did you send, um... Is it like a link to a screenshot that you took of the- For Buphead? Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, links are disabled in chat, but, um, if you send them to me or to Ahmad through Twitch messages, then... 
uh, then that works. Let's see, though. It looks like this is the road to... to the mountains, from the looks of it. So we'll see if we're, I'm on the right track here. Yeah, Valak Pass! Okay! That's not bad at all. I forget what the music here sounds like, but I remember it being very, very good. So I'm looking forward to this. Oh yeah, also lore. Zanza is not dead. I feel it. Our tragedy unfolds once again. Lady Maynath. Does that mean... Indeed. I do not doubt that Egil too is aware. However, why free the Monado? Zanza must realize it is now a double-edged sword. And what reason could he have for choosing the boy? What is this? I am experiencing feelings for the boy. Eh? Lady Maynard. Venea, your swift repairs are appreciated. Thank you. I wish to see that boy again. No, you do not. To meet with the one who wields the Monada. The boy? But my lady, is that not... Is Egil aware of my reawakening? Uh, he is not. As my lady wished, he knows nothing. Then, there is no need to worry. I shall meet the boy. Besides... The boy. The Monado will draw him to me. Flying off without me, eh? Oh, god damn it, of course. <laughs> somewhere. Of course, I remember you. You're Jumpburn's little sister. I'm like legit angry when things happen in this plot. This is what I was talking about last time. Like, oh, no, he's doing the bad thing. I sent it uh, to you through a whisper. And if not, I guess I'll just go into this the Discord and DM you. Uh, Twitch, uh, Twitch link should be fine. If you're whispering it to me. Oh, I forgot what this was like at night. Look at this place. I could go for a hot cup of Dixon's home brew right about now. We're not built for this cold. Oh my god, I dressed them so poorly. It is to be expected. This climate is as different to your home as it gets. It only snows this high up on the Bionis. <laughs> Ricky hate cold. This can't be nice for Ricky. He's from Matna. A little further down is Sword Valley, right? Yes. But before then, I must show you something. Me? You, Shulk. Do you not see? That tall formation that looks like a tower. Ruins, to be precise. Ricky see it? Bigger than Big Tree in Village. We can rest there. I'll explain everything, then. Hmm... Hmm... Albus isn't gonna explain a goddamn thing. Why are there so many other nope on here? I mean, there's a store here. Maybe there's some more intermediate arts we can get, I don't know. I think I've already gotten all of the ones that, like, are set, but... No, yeah, these guys don't sell books. But they do sell weapons. Hmm. I kind of wasted all my G on getting those arts anyway, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll wait for later here. Now's not the time. But that's good to know, I guess, that these dudes are, like, directly at the entrance. You don't gotta dig around for them. Oh, I love the verticality of this area. Look at that incline. That's crazy. A mud squirrel. A mud squirrel! Yeah, this place looks gorgeous at night. 
This is definitely one of, like, Fire Apple. One of the more memorable locations from this game, for sure. Like, look at this! It's such, like, an incredible scale. I love it. Hmm. These guys are a little tricky, but it's only gonna get trickier if we don't go after these guys. Right! Let's do this! Yeah, just yell at them. That'll do the trick, Shulk. Listen, if we can take on Mega Shrek, we can take on this dude. Immune to breaks, though. I get that it's trying to encourage me to use, like, uh, chain attacks more often, but I refuse. I'm just a dumb little bird, you shirtless idiot! Right, I'm counting on your shell, like, come on. Thanks! Oh boy, this is gonna be cutting it close. We need these levels, we need this XP. The future is ours to decide. The future is ours to decide. Sorry, Shulk, what's ours to decide? Didn't catch that. Can you say it again? Just a few more times, just a few more times. This probably isn't even where we're supposed to be going. Yeah, we need to go to that tower, that's right. But here I am, exploring, <laughs> like some kind of fool. <laughs> oh yeah, we still haven't been to Colony 6 either. We'll show that eventually, I guess. But tonight is clearly not the night. I want to find the ice slide. That's what I want. Wait a second. Oh, it's daytime too. I don't think we can go up this actually. I found... I have found an ice slide. Of a kind. But this is for going down, not going up. This is just World of Light all over again. I've seen this before. I really like that Shulk's vision was Ricky going, Wow, two cabbage. <laughs> well, you see, what you didn't see in that vision is that when Ricky touches the cabbage, he fucking explodes. And he's gonna need to know that. For when Ricky fucking explodes. Climbable surface. <laughs> A climbable surface indeed. Also, I'm not dead yet either. We're just sliding. Oh. <laughs> We've yet to impact. I can't go on. Wait, what? How did the others survive? I'm very curious to see what that looks like on the map. Because it shows like what you filled in. So now, yeah, there's just like a big straight line down the side of the mountain. <laughs> Let's see. I gotta redo that though. I do want to find what's on the other side of that wall, so... I think my plan for this is to somewhat like kind of zigzag uh, down the mountain so I can see, like, what's on both sides and the in-between. And that sounds like a pretty good use of a stream to me, so we'll do it. I mean, <laughs> if we spend as much time as we did in, um, Satoru Marsh, we can definitely spend a little bit more time here in, uh, in, in Va Va Varudanya? Ain't that the one? Right! Let's do this! Don't let us oh my- <laughs> Speaking of- hold on. I'm just gonna kind of scoot to the side, use all my arts, and then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go grab something real quick. While well, everything here is recharging. I'm really feeling it. My 
Speaking of, speaking of Divine Beasts and Breath of the Wild, I've got something to talk about. Did, um, did you guys see what Sean Shiplock tweeted earlier today? Because, uh... <laughs> because, uh... I see it. Can I even show this? I'm gonna show it. It's fine. Because Sean Chiplock, the voice actor of Ravali, tweeted this. <laughs> Why is he like this? You only got my gamepad. Apparently, everything's gone to shit. Oh, Vine's down? Can you still fight? Yeah. No. <laughs> Oh, you mean Sean Chiplock as in Super Mega? What, what other Sean Chiplocks are there? Also, I hope you appreciate that I died for this. But damn, he really out here. I think the last time I was playing Breath of the Wild, somebody in chat did bring up that, like, they loved that Sean Chiplock was like that. And I hesitate to agree. I don't know whether or not... See, I disagree with this because he's not linking to where I can get one of those for myself. <laughs> Speaking of birds... Bird! I gotta get this bird. Monty Python. Monty Mole. That's right, his ad is on um, Sonic Mega, not Super Mega. Just what I need. Shala? Shala? Well, funny joke. I'm trying. I'm so <laughs> like that. Shala, awesome. I think we can do it. Uh... I can't. Go on. <laughs> and Ryan's just here. Let's try that one more time real quick. I don't see why in this area, when you fall from great heights, you don't just like make a big hole in the snow. A shulk shaped hole. Ryan has zero idea what to fucking do once shulk dies. He just wanders off into the wilderness and disappears. He doesn't even like react. Yeah, neither do I, Shala, but, uh, no guarantees. You're really getting into this ride. Okay, note to self, stay away from the, the enormous cliff. See, when we all work together, when we stop looking at Rivali's leak nudes, we're fine. We can do anything. Eh? That's a hell of a block. At least we're almost like on the verge of another level up, though. We could really use one. And I really should stress that one thing that it said last time, <laughs> where no matter how much preparation I do, it's never enough. Because, uh... Everyone, let's go! Fuck, I really did, like, a lot of farming before last stream, and it's already just kind of... blown away. Perfect for a chain attack! Is it though? Ready and waiting! Yeah! 
I think regarding this game systems, I think chain attacks is, is another thing that either in in two or in one or in Torno, uh, or in X, that I never really got. And I think that's, you know, pretty obviously an important thing to focus in on and learn how to do. Because even if I can get by without doing it now, uh, there's definitely gonna come a point. I mean, I was able to get away with it once, but I think for the stream's sake, it would be helpful if I, if I learned that. <laughs> Yeah, bro, give me five minutes. We can chain attack this bird we're somehow stabbing. Yeah, the hitboxes in Xenoblade are very, um, interesting, huh? Alright. Let's, uh, let's be a little more careful with where we hit come at this wall from. Let's try to leap into the section that's above ground. God, look at that drop, though. Ooh. Okay. I should stress again, though, that, that we don't need to be here. <laughs> okay, so you're the climbable surface, gotcha. Plenty of room. Plenty of room to climb. Not a thing to worry about. For some reason, I thought Ryan's legs was like a skulltula or something. Just a little bit of scooting, a little bit of scattering, a little bit of skadoodling. A little bit of avoiding these dudes. And baby, you got a stew going. Oh, this must be how you get, looking at the map, this must be how you get to the other side of the, um, that ice thing. This is how we find the final cabbage. Uh, emerald snow? Don't eat this. God, the climbing looks so janky. It sure is. I can't stay mad at the at uh, mad at it though, because honestly, as long as it completely undoes enemy aggro, I can't be mad at it. I'll trade any amount of jankiness for that. And it's still a thing that like continues on in like even the the new Xenoblade games. So they know exactly what they're doing. And I think it's just as janky as well. Wet rat! <laughs> That's a real good item name. Hey guys, look what I found! i um, more climbing. <gasps> oh. Oh, glass. Sure! Uh. Yeah, Breath of the Wild, this ain't. <laughs> that was, uh... That was a bit of a different jingle. Why was this so much XP? I guess this is just a special place. Okay, so... What's... That road leads to the other side of the ice thing, but then what's what's over here? Yeah, there's an item. Look. God, the sense of height here is ridiculous for the Wii. <gasps> ice cabbage. Apparently Ricky's looking for those. Me. I guess I'm glad I went out of the way. I really could use the XP. Oh, this is some interesting jumping. Because it's trying to, like, change for the slope. Sour grape. God, the acceleration on that is ridiculous. I can't wait until we get to longer stretches of that. Okay, well now the question becomes, how do we reasonably get down from here? Do we just have to backtrack or what? I guess so. At least this place is bird-free, though. Let's see, I remember there being, like, some kind of cave, though, that we didn't... Check out over here? Something like that. Well, there's the third ice cabbage, I guess. But... Maybe not. 
It looks like there is one, but it's it's gotta be for later, I guess. Yeah, just take the ramp. Okay, okay. I mean, there are certain shorter ways, but the efficacy. Oh, here's a cave, I guess. Or more of a overpass, more like. But then this curves into this. See, this are, this is why this area is so much, so interesting to me to explore because there's so many like paths that kind of like overlap on top of one another. Um, and besides just like the just like the staggering verticality, uh, it offers for like some interesting uh, ways of getting around. Fatal Belladonna, and it also lets them put like a lot of like cool secrets in a lot of cool places, like lo like the one we just found. Plus, the music ain't half bad either. In all fairness, though, I have no idea what I'm headed towards. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at this transition. Oh, no. That's gonna be a special monster there, though. What's that level at? <gasps> That's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but <laughs> we're not quite ready quite yet. Oh, we're at the bottom of where I plummeted from all the way up there. That's a hell of a drop. Yeah, you all take on. You're a lifesaver. The golden ice actually looks pretty AF, if not a little piss rocky. What kind of pee you got? Yeah, speak to a doctor or something? Yo, how many rope gen in that water you got there? This isn't going well. I mean rope gen! See, this is what happens when I mispronounce words in front of this dude. Also, are any of his friends even interested here? Uh, this guy is. You! Thank you. Hello? Well, hello to you, Donicles. Speaking of mispronouncing... <laughs> What did I join? Uh, Piss Rocks. I thought these guys were generally easy to take care of though, why is it playing like the dangerous music? Why, you don't think I can do this? Well actually, Brian is in a bit of danger, so... Wait, Topple! Oh no, I'm getting Topple, that's what's happening. Sorry, Ryan. You know I had to do it to him. Oh, not Ice Meteor. Three, anything but three. Well, that actually doesn't look too hot. It's because we're on an Ice level. Uh, typically what you do to, to circumvent that is kind of interrupting it with a break and a topple and then a... Whatever this thing is, the Shaker Edge. But this guy's like immune to it, so I don't know what other options we got. I guess using speed and shield are also at our disposal, but... Those are kind of, um... Did we just get XP in the middle of a battle? Or is that like a Charlotte thing? Yeah, I'll take a daze. Is that what Shaker Edge does? It dazes? But yeah, even those are iffy at best, so I guess you just gotta end the battle when you can. You know, like that. Ooh, okay. I mean, there's still these dudes left, but at least you don't gotta deal with the bird anymore. Oh my god, these ice physics. Look at Ryan! 
Okay, let's clear these guys and then slip around. Even the enemies are affected by it too. Okay, let's all focus in. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sensitive. Yo, what kind of Luigi's Mansion looking ass? Yeah, these guys are babies. However, it's like you it's like they always say about babies. They're strong in numbers. Like in Cuphead. <laughs> Why is this game not always on ice physics? I ask myself the same question. Oh. I meant to kind of keep the battle going into this, but I guess I'll start a new one, sure. As long as the chests stay, I guess that's not a bad thing. Ice physics would actually help you able to get around a lot faster. That's a good point. I mean, there is a pretty comprehensive fast travel system. Uh, that would be great. I agree. At the same time, though, as I'm sure you'll see later uh, in Valak Mountain, there's, there's certain areas where the ice physics, even here where it's kind of designed for it, can just totally fucking break this game. Okay, okay. No? Anyone? Nice job! We're actually getting some good stuff from these too. Oh my god, the speed! The pure speed! The pure inability to open a chest. I feel like there were some other ones that I missed, but okay. <laughs> so hard to hit. It would absolutely improve the walking sections by making it hyper slidey. I agree. But what you don't understand is combining it with the jumps. Because there is no limit on how much speed you can build. So you can just go fucking flying. You can like break into another PU. Especially if you go off the ledge like this! Huh. Uh-oh. Thank you, Rock. Mwah. You saved me. I could have gone very wrong. I would have gone into fucking space. Speedrunners hate him! What is the speedrun record for this game? And can I beat it? Where does this lead? Oh no, this goes underneath. Okay, so I'm going the right way. God, look at all these beams, though. I love how that just, like, how that's what the horizon is, you know? Because, like, everybody talks about Satoru Marsh as this place that's, like, very unexpectedly beautiful, but you don't quite hear it as much with this, and I feel like it really deserves that kind of praise, because this is some fantastic art direction. The Mechanus Wound. Oh no. Hmm. Hmm. Also, why does the UI make gun noises? I don't think one exists. There's gotta be. S somebody's got to have tried. There's a speedrun record for everything. Like, even if you don't set out to do a speedrun. There is technically, like, a shortest possible time, right? The Monado is actually a gun. No, that's Xenoblade X. <laughs> Shulk is just dumb. That I fully agree with. You're right on that one. Everybody in this game's a fucking himbo. Can I please get behind this thing? I'm not doing good to go. Just what I needed. I'm powering up. <laughs> Where are you? Even? Okay, there it is. It's like the slope is so steep and it's so high above me that I can't even see what like what I'm hitting. But I, I guess it's working. 
Ryan isn't a himbo, he's the only smart one. Uh, I don't know if I can say that. You can use speed on me real quick. This isn't looking too good. I can't go on. I shouldn't be having this much trouble on these guys. And yet. Alright, I'm feeling it. Come on, fill the second meter, fill the God damn it, Shava's down again. He's gonna go back for her. I blame slopes. What's the what's the term? Oh yeah, well okay, there's the wound. There's like a whole ass piece just here. But like Oh, and this is like a fast travel location too. What's the term that uh Panankoic uses in in the Mario 64 video? It's like differential something or other. And it has to do with like walking on slopes and how speed factors into that. Okay, first things first, Shadow Line, yeah. I just gotta look out more often is the problem. God, I wish I remembered it. There's so many terms that I do remember from that, but not that. Am I like on the right track though? Is it differential something or is it called something like entirely different? I see it. I just remember that it was about Mario being able to build up speed infinitely. I know, like, the example that he uses is, for example, like, um, the third Bowser level. Let's see, let's use speed on Ryan here. Let's see if that saves him. Let's keep up the pressure! Alright, I'm feeling it! Charlotte hang in there. We can definitely do this. Come on, this thing's dead. By the time Shulk wakes up from this, this thing's just gonna be like a crater, and everyone else will have moved on. I can change the future. Beautiful death animation. Very graceful. Alright, well at least that's through with. So what's this little Florida over this way? I don't quite remember either. Oh. Wait, what? Where's Florida? There it is. What's over here? Oh, a whole lot of bullshit is what. But I'll go for it. He fights three times. Total. Okay, well at least the environment is like a lot more open, so we should be a lot better suited to, to fight this thing. But yeah, we definitely gotta work on leveling. Before moving on. Because I think if we just rush forward again, we're gonna run into a, a couple familiar problems. <laughs> Griffin, are you cursed? Good question. I would like to say no, but many would argue yes. In what way? See, that's more like it. That's what I like to see. But the question is, what awaits us at the tip? Nothing? Just some enemies? I mean, I guess I'll take it, but there's no climbing surfaces either. Eh, these guys are a little lower leveled at the very least. But we're probably gonna be taking on two. We can't lose! This one's all done slaving. This one's mine. Now it's right time. Yeah! Yep, there's there's the there's the friend. 
You, you, you just gotta be quick about this then. Before they gain up on this. I bet after this we're, we're probably uh, actually gonna be at a point where we can... I don't wanna change this. But we're probably gonna be at a point where we can start upgrading a few more of the engineering arts, because you're not fully maxed out on uh, Shulk and Ryan either. So that can help us like a little further in our... Get through this a little faster! I can always count on you! <laughs> Nothing's gonna touch Wait, you what? as long as I'm around. This dude doesn't give a shit! Oh my god! Don't mind the fact that your teammates are being pushed around by the sheer size of these models. As far as I'm aware, I think all the enemy hitboxes in Xenoblade are just like cylinders that go infinitely up and infinitely down. <laughs> I mean, what are this? So I think technically we're doing a great job. A great job. The best job. Oh, I didn't need to use it on me. My life is getting better. I mean, I guess I don't mind taking these on one at a time, but. I only need one shot. Go! That's my way! This isn't going well. Thanks. Now it's I need to get behind this thing for the problem. Oh, there's that thing again. And this time I'm the victim, God. God, forgive me. Changing. I'm not gonna bother with Monado Arts, I can just do normal ones to get through this. And the book? What do you got? Nice! Is this like a fancy chest? No, it's not. At the very least though, um... I think this works a bit better than, than just sta the standard farming that I did off-stream last time. Uh... Cause like, oof. It took like an hour to level up, and now look at where we are! We've already like done it twice. What are you? And Antols. Look at these little lads. I want to destroy them. Right. Let's do this. Let me at them. Don't let a single one escape. That vision of Ryan's hammer yeah. slam looks funny. Yeah. Everything of Ryan is funny because he's a very good and entertaining boy. Oh, there's ants everywhere. Don't insects not like the coal? And here I thought I'd be safe in Canada. At least you can break these ones down. Those are just like spider ants? They are spider e That's fucked up. It's not okay. Now it's Ryan's time. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Piece of cake. I don't remember that fire. We make a great team. Did all of us leave a chest behind or just the one? This is a rock. It's a stone, Luigi. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to head towards, I guess, is in this direction. There's something going on over here. Yeah, it's like a big, like, hill? What's that all about? BRB, gotta punch some ants. Well, that didn't take long for Shulk to say that. <laughs> the fact that Shulk's air slash looks so weak compared to the Smash iteration is really jarring. He does such a baby hop. That's a... That's a good point. 
I don't think anybody ha really has really good movement in this game. <laughs> Which is weird, because there's a lot of, like, very large, but, like, flying enemies that you just, like, never, like, I'm not doing visually well. hit. Don't give up. I'm not doing it. I mean, they kind of tried to make him this, like, a very, like, long, like, lasery sword, but I don't think it works very well. Who leveled up? Someone did. Oh, Ryan did. I guess that would make sense. It would be a little weird if Charla started yelling, I can feel the strength in that voice. Right! Let's do this! This one's all guns blazing! Okay. This should help out the rest of the team, then. This should be more than enough. Given the fact that our meters are already fucking full. Yeah, not being able to break these guys is a huge pain in the ass, though. Although a little status thingy on their name is what I said. Nope, still immune. He's got a power through it then, I guess. I really gotta do some research on how the chain attack system works, because I think there's a difference between, oh, I don't want to use this because it's a little overkill, and I only think it's necessary for boss battles, and I strictly do not know how to use this ability, boss battle or not. And I think I, I very decidedly fall into the ladder there, um, so I've got some learning to do for sure. Oh, this is so narrow. What's up here? God, the poly count on this is... Uh, how did they pull this off? Look at where this leads. What the fuck could possibly... Eh? Ether plum. I also apparently need to check out what the fuck Ether is on the wiki too, because I still don't get it. Okay, so then that kind of opens up to a wider area. And then what, right? check the map real quick after I after I land here because I'm wondering if this is like a, a whole second it is wow so if we started up here then this was kind of a detour and now we're back on the original path interesting interesting okay I guess we'll keep heading down from here then okay I forgot where the destination was. To be honest, I just like the ice here. Yeah, it's nice. <gasps> Fuck, there's multiple. Please let this be an ordinary field trip. Polax, chillin'. Yo, he chillin'. We do not ask questions about the mech on horse. We cover our mouths like in Death Stranding. And then we walk away silently. Everyone, Let me fight some more go. shitty fucking birds, because it's all there is here. Like, there's a, there's a teensy bit of any enemy variety here, but like, everything's so scary. Just like that big scary cave that I'm gonna go into after this. I can't get past the hitbox to help him. Is that how the Death Stranding Ghost Man works? Well, do I look like Kojima to you? I assume they can't see you when you cover your mouth and hold your breath. Because that's what they do in the trailers, right? When they see the whatever the handprint dudes are, when they're nearby, everyone like shuts the fuck up and they're like, "That's a mouth covering sound." They cover their mouths. 
Interestingly enough, though, um, in the small bit of gameplay that they have shown off, I mean, I mean arrow small bit, they've actually shown off quite a lot by this point, but you seem to be able to, like, they have a lot of control over, like, how you choose to cover your mouth, because sometimes it's just with one hand, and then other times a second hand comes in too. And I don't know if this is for sure, but I think it would be cool if that was, like, mapped to, like, the triggers or the bumpers or something, and that became, like, your left and right hands in terms of, like, how you choose to cover your mouth. And because of the pressure sensitivity of that, you could also maybe choose, like, how hard you cover. And there's, like, there's, like, a stamina system in terms of, like, how long you can hold your breath. That sounds to me like it'd be a pretty cool mechanic, but I have no way of knowing of whether or not that's, you know, for real. I like that the weird flashlight shows you where the evil creatures are. Me too. Also, I just went completely around for no reason. But there's a thing over here. You know, I'll cross this and then I'll go to here. Wait, cross what now? I already lost track. Yeah, if I go around that corner, it'll, it'll connect back to the original route. Okay. Here. Camera's being a little odd, but... Yeah, surprisingly enough, though, it looks like we're already, like, halfway there to where we need to be, so... Uh, I don't mind doing a little more exploring. <gasps> uh, what are you? The Enema King, Luigi. wonder if I can, uh... Lure a few of these guys, and then take on the level 40 dude. Or rather, 46. Yeah, I'll just take care of these guys while they're not looking. And then, maybe I'll have a fine chance. Also, I never upgraded those intermediate arts when I said I would. Might be worth doing that. The fourth one after this big one. You said it, Charla. Fantastic. Everyone, let's go! Yeah, because the sooner we pick these off, right? I hate how the big one is called that. Well, it's called Entma King, actually. Let's stay alert. Piece of cake! But I just remember when I when I first played this, I did read that as Enema King, and I was like, wait, 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 what? And I legit misread it so many times that I like. <laughs> It took a second for me to realize, like, oh, oh, Entma, oh, okay. Anyways, I was about to fight this thing. What I need to do is go after those arts before I forget about it again. Okay, let's see. What can we upgrade here? Wait, what? You can spend AP- Oh... Oh no, I, di I didn't know about this. Uh, well that's pretty fucking helpful. But it is not what I want to spend my experience on with them. Mm, I'm gonna put it on Shadow Eye, cause that way... Uh, cooldown... Mm, it's 0.9 seconds, but it helps. And then you have 2,000, which I could use almost on backslash, but I'm gonna have to save up either way, I think. Unless I use it on battle, so which, lord knows I'm not using it there. Ryan, however, what can we use for you? Oh yeah, Ryan's got way more than Shulk does here, let's see. Wait, Engage? Where... Why did it not upgrade Engage? Where do you get that? I thought I got all the arts. Well, I guess I'll know what to do between this stream and the next one. Uh, hmm. I guess I'll just start with these upper ones and then work my way down, because I don't know what's good and what's not with, uh, with Ryan. Not enough AP. Well, that was quick. Uh, anywhere that are worth 3,000, maybe? Maybe? A little bit? Bone upper. Yeah, okay. And then as for Sharla, I mean, we just did this, so probably not by very much, but we'll see... Heal Blast. Well, that's to a target. That's to a target. I'm wondering if there's anything that's like, that's good for a group. Heal Round restores the entire party. 
Uh, I'll save up for that then, because that's gonna, that's the most helpful thing, I think, for Sharla. Okay. Well, here goes. We can't lose! I don't want anyone dying out there! This one's mine! How many legs does this dude got? Metabolism? Oh, that's very dangerous. God damn it, this one was its break too. And that's why we upgrade Shadow Eye. Except that it didn't look away. It didn't work. I'm gonna hold off on my heel actually. Whoa! You're really getting into this ride! They said Anima and Xenoblade? The top ten things they don't want you to know. Wait, why are the babies? I guess they can do that. Can I please use Shadow Eye? Why aren't they focusing in on her? Let's uh -oh. focus our efforts. Gotcha. A vision. And Charlotte's toppled. This is a goddamn mess. And here I was doing all this prep work. Where even is Vine? Bernardo, speed real quick. Bernardo, save us from harm. I did it. It worked. Hey. Oh, oh no. but you know what this means now. If I die, I'm committed to. To making this work. We haven't lost yet. I'm okay. Heal blast. Clear. Ah! Give me that crunch, baby. Don't think you can decide our futures. I'm sorry. Did she <laughs> immediately die? Give it some. Oh, I'm all right. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm feeling great. Oh my god, the hitboxes on this are insane! I mean, we've got like half the health down, as long as we can like, consistently keep it up, you know? You know, just scrap the dying part of the strategy, then we'll have a chance at it. Charlotte might die again. And I, the, that's it, the party gate is empty after this, so... Oh, I see what's happening. The babies are going after I'm gonna lose speed on her, actually. Because I, I, I can't unfocus to the babies. Oh. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. Great, and I have no shot. Did I have a vision mid-air, by the way? No, I did not. Yes, I did. Sorry. Well? Well, that was abrupt. That said, I would like to try again. Alright, I'm feeling it. Dies. How far back are we from that thing? Hold on. Oh my god, it's actually not that bad. Oof! I would say we should fight more babies, but I don't know if it's really worth it because we're definitely not anywhere near like another level up. The enemy's weak. But we could use some AP. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quickly. This one's mine. Very curious as to why Shadow Eye wasn't really working back there though. That's that thing's got like some serious aggro. I guess it only reduces it by so much. It's not like a hundred percent reduction. That's a very angry ant. Maybe it is worth focusing on the babies before going at, uh, after the big one. Because otherwise they just pick up your party members, right? And if they go down this quickly, right? That could be the way to go. Nice uh, job. Charla, I don't know where you got that idea. But I can assure you that that is not the case.
Now we'll do a little bit more of this. I don't know, all I'm saying is that the payoff is going to be pretty big if we can't manage that. We'll certainly be finding a lot less birds, that's for sure. Or I guess whatever else you prefer to call those, those airborne creatures. I'm sorry, did this ant not notice what was going on? <laughs> sure. Sure. I don't mind. Neither does this thing, apparently. <laughs> Nobody notices us. This is so sad. Can we get 10,000 likes? There's that fucking lad. All right, let's just go in. Let's do it. Let's go in. And we have it. Level 45. Now. Leave it to Ryan. Is it is it because we died, or is there like a certain range that they have the potential to spawn? Why are they 45 now? Everyone, that's odd. Still just as angry though. Oh no! Looks like it worked. I can't tell if this is like a like kind of throwing me a bone, like it's pitying me, or if I'm just getting lucky here. Uh oh. This isn't going well. Wait, don't rush off. Can we kill the mech on? Just stab Metal Face in the crotch. I'll we'll get to it. The crotching will occur. Honestly, I think once you get to the that tower that we're trying to get to, the the cool important stuff that happens afterwards is like not far away from that. It's like immediately afterwards. But it could be misremembering. We'll, we'll take inventory uh, once we're there. You know how much time is left on the stream and how far away we actually need to go. Now, now, you're gonna have to wait your turn before you can stab crotches. Please, back off. Look at this dude scuttle, though. That's great. That's all I'm trying to do. Hang in there, Charlotte. Oh, thank you, Ryan. We can definitely do this. I don't know if it's the level or if we did any better, but it like it makes a hell of a difference there, huh? Nice job. Let's stay alert. Damn. Yeah, I mean, I guess these guys are still here, but they didn't notice us? So I guess that's how we got away with it. Yeah, because nobody was picking up Charlotte repeatedly. Yeah, three deaths, well, I guess five deaths to zero deaths. Well, how about it? Yeah, my throat's getting angry at me at this point. I can't do angry child voices like I could two hours ago. Just one more round. Now it's wine time. Just what I needed. I can't even do like the raspy Mario voice. Because even that's like there, there becomes a limit. And I feel like all the voices that I do strain the same part. Yeah, I'm turning up the double. Eventually you you bang on the same key on the piano, the piano's gonna break. You bang on the same key on your 2016 MacBook Pro keyboard. The butterfly mechanism is gonna collapse and then become a four thousand dollar brick. <laughs> I always forget enemies turn into wooden chests rather than just spit out collectibles. You make a good point. Why don't they do that? 
The chest thing is weird, huh? Oh god, there's more. And they're 46! Well, let's do it. Right! Let's do this! Let me at him! Speaking of though, I actually did look into that um now the other night. Uh, just like into the give back program. Uh, which is, you know, way off. Like I don't need a new machine yet. But my current one sure is broken. Uh, but I was just looking into it, I guess. And uh, I realized that for the the MacBook Pros that have the butterfly keyboard mechanism, they're actually doing like um I well, I've been doing this for a while, but uh, they're doing a recall, right, on the ones that are affected, which is, you know, especially the one that I have. They've tried to, like, revise that again and again, but the keyboards are still like, totally fucked on those things, uh, even on the newer ones. But now they'll at least repair it for free. Um, and I looked into it before, because even without the, the recall, I still have, like, AppleCare. Um, and I tried talking to them like a few years ago, and they said that they don't accept like shipping repairs, like ship in repairs uh, within Canada. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll just sit on this brick and just deal with it. Um, but I realized that that uh, recall only applies four years after the date of purchase uh, of the machine, and I'm realizing, you know, this is a 2016 MacBook Pro, it's gonna be running out of time pretty soon, right? So, so what I'm thinking of doing is taking advantage of that while I still can. I don't know when. This may involve taking a break from streaming, unfortunately. Uh, but if I take advantage of it while I still can, then use Apple Give Back. Then it'll be like a pristine machine again, which will allow me to. Maybe, maybe two years down the line, maybe two, maybe a little bit. Whenever they fucking fix the butterfly keyboards, anyways, um, it gets me back in business. It gets me a keyboard that ain't broken. Yeah, you should take advantage of it while it's there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if the, the inability to accept ship in repairs, because I live in a very remote part of Canada, because uh, I don't really have like, any um, repair places near me, or any Apple stores, or anything like that. Uh, but I'll, I'll see if it's different for the, uh, for the recall. Because, fellas, my keyboard's getting real bad. Because before the issue was just like there, there were certain keys that even like press twice when you press once, or it just doesn't register the input at all. Um, and now, now the situation is that the O and I keys are just, they're just loose. They're not even attached to the butterfly switch anymore. So sometimes they just fall out, which is great. Um, especially because those are very frequently used vowels. Uh, uh oh, don't get chomped. Wait, why does it be okay now? Game wise, I'm very confused what, what is happening, what I but I guess I won? I'll take it. Jail bottom? Oh my. Was there not a second chest? There it is. Wait, so what's at the edge of this if the cave is... I guess this is just a dead end? Alright, sure. Oh, okay, okay, that is egg sack. Oh! Were these near the last thing too? Because these spawn more baby boys, which explains why they came back. That's probably what got me the last, the last time. I don't know. I'm getting worried about this baby boy. And, I, and, I, and I, I'm talking about the laptop and me. Do I have to? Do I have to? No, not you. Not you. Not you. Just that. Just that. I don't want any trouble, okay? 
Oh no. What? What the fuck? That ain't no spider. That's fucking Danny DeVito. Is that how he was born? Oh god. What have I done? Be very careful not to open any eggs. You're really getting into this to open every single fucking one. Just what I need. Well done. Gotta cool off. Let's air shine attack. Ready to roll. Roger. All systems. You gotta say, not a real egghead as far as these things go. I'm turning up the heat. You're really getting into this ride. Right, you're a lightsaber. Listen, I'm just trying to pass through. I'm just looking for directions. Use a break if you're about to die. We'll save that for next time. Like that, there we go. Scar clock. Where did Danny DeVito go? Oh, there he is. Now Shark is dead. We haven't lost yet. Sorry. The trash got her. No, Ryan is dead. God damn it. Which means Charlotte is about to be dead. Right. Now's no time to nap, hey? This is the Monado's power! I should really use like the primary Monado art to lock off of because that's just like a, a slot that I'm not using. Right. Where'd Charlie go? Where'd Charlie go? Where'd Charlie go? We haven't lost yet! We can't hold out much- Hey! Give me some space! Thanks! Oh, Sharla. World around is fully dying. <laughs> okay, let's all focus in on this, though, because it seems to be the best I can do. I tell you, this is what happens when you fuck with eggs. It's down again, god damn it. I guess I just gotta support Charlotte hard enough until I can get enough to, to help Ryan again. And also maybe use a shield. Maybe. Possibly. Oh fuck, I'm down! Hadn't considered that possibility. Oh my god, we're so far back! It's fascinating that the that the big scary spider mini boss, no problems, first try, but then like the thing behind it, <laughs> which is just like a bunch of babies. How the hell did you get all the way over here? Huh? Okay. I mean, like I guess. Don't let a single one Unless this is like a different. Antimar King than the one we fight against? Maybe. Also, how come it ain't Antimar Queen? Because it doesn't even make the babies? Wow, Queen. Living her best. Oh my god, Queen, your egg sacs are glowing! What are you using? Yeah, I'm an egg influencer. Now it's right time! Just what I needed! Yeah! Yeah! All together now! The worst part is that I gotta go through there. Backslash! 
Sometimes, I guess, you know, the, the better option for that one might be to run so that you piss off less sacks, you know? Yeah, I think using the Monado ones more often is also going to be a, a big help. A big help. A big help as far as um stuff that I'm not doing that I ought to be doing, which was which undoes the things that I do that makes me die, which makes me unable to do the arrow, which do the quest. Do the game. Level-wise, though, those, those big mamas help us out a lot. Still better than the birds. At least a bit of variety, right? I know what dying to a bird looks like. These guys? We win! Okay, let's get going. Man, what a bunch of jokers. See, this is the tricky part, though, is that you kind of have to go that way. No, this one's 45 as well. I think there is a bit of a, a chance that it can spawn with, like, a lower level or a higher level, you know? And also, there's, like, a, a thing down here? What's that all about? <laughs> well, that's a hell of a drop, apparently. I guess it's nothing. Okay. The map puts like a line there as if it's something significant, but not always, I guess. You know what? You're in the easy part. I'll go for you. Besides, how else will I take on Danny DeVito without the power of enemies? God, what a sentence. Yeah! Yeah! Go! You said it, Joke! Let's do shields right off the bat, actually. No! Don't even gotta worry about it. That's what I am worrying a little bit. Because I. He's the angry little ant. All these spiders just keep getting slightly higher. Well, 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 the first one we found was, um, was 46, and then it dropped to 45. And then I think this one's always been 46, but I don't actually know. Either way, I mean, it, if it's that small of a difference, I can generally handle it. The problem is, like... Is in the numbers, you know. Let's keep up the pressure. I'm getting really lucky with avoiding those big shockwaves. Shadow eye. Now it's Yeah, I mean it's better for me if they're 46, right? Because I don't know what what is waiting for us at the bottom of this mountain, but it's not going to be good. Yeah, that's like that's like already the halfway point, so fine by me. My primary concern lies this way. God, the chests! Something happened here. <laughs> Just chillin' in my lair. I'm just here in my garage. Nope. 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 You know what though? I will fight these bats. Because now, we're far away from any eggs. And if we need to run, we're right at the mouth. So we're good. Out here in my cave. <laughs> 
But you know what really matters? Pace. Yeah, he's trying to slowly have a recipe book. Where's that dude at nowadays? I feel like we haven't had something on the scale of that in a while. In terms of like, YouTube ads that everybody hates, but also like, everybody knows, right? I just bought this new, uh, Ant King here. What is this giant... Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of a cool structure. It's like a, like a big hand or something. I thought we could, like, knock it over, but I guess not. What are you? Oh, it's a geyser. Whoa. And you are... Level 47. Fun! You're a lifesaver. Listen, I, I know about six. I don't know about seven. That may be testing me a little bit too hard. Just what I needed. Especially at an angle like this. But if we can make it work, it's gonna be it's gonna be big. Everyone, let's go! Right, you're a lifesaver. This is the Monado! Shield more often! Shield more often, Griffin! How good a win! Oh god, next time! I just used my health up too. We can definitely do this! This guy is fucking bananas! Unfortunately for you, that makes two of us. I saw him like a year or two ago talking about Bitcoin or Bitcoin sounds like exactly the kind of thing that dude. <laughs> so it went well for him. Also, hot damn. Just four more of those and we'll be at 46 in no time. What does that mean? This game has got some fucking wild side quests. <laughs> oh, hollow bone. Finally a checkpoint. Finally a bill. Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm going down. I am descending. Wait, am I? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? It always comes back to the fucking birds. And not even these birds. We can definitely do this. Good to go. Thanks. Come on. Now. Dream edge. Now it's right time. It's just like buff birds too, and I don't mean these buff birds. Nice job. See, I don't give a shit about this though, because the problem is that this is a wall which I cannot climb. Like, okay, Ryan can give me like a boost though. This is not a lot. No, it's fine. Just turn around. Just turn around. Just walk a couple kilometers in the other direction. And just find another way. I'll be fine. I don't see a problem here. What are you doing out here, you crazy little man? Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual to report. Yeah, I'll fuck with this dude. Who says I won't? Why not? 
now that I know I have this power. <laughs> hmm. It's a long way before they come back around, though. Just kind of try and ride this cliff. See if we can get to that sooner. Yeah. Oh, they saw me before I saw them. No need to worry about that. Yeah, no break on this dude. Man, it was an enemy that something like this though that let me use like such a such a good grinding exploit on it too. Because I'm pretty sure I at least focus still before but this dude has been like 11 parts, so I'll detail it. Um there, there, there are there's these big flying enemies that look kind of like this. Um, and they're vulnerable to break and topple very, very easily. So what I did in that playthrough was like I just kept going up to them and then like immediately toppling them. And it was in a very like high up kind of area like this. So when they toppled, they would just drop straight down and the fall damage would kill them instantly. And the other thing about these guys is that they were like insanely overleveled. So I just got like a bunch of XP all at once for like repeatedly killing them. Uh, these dudes that were like way above what I should be able to do. Not quite the same case here. God, I wish though. That Shulk scream is too visceral. Yeah, Shulk's voice acting in this game is absolutely incredible. Even if it's just like in, in completely unnecessary places like this, Adam Howland goes like all fucking out. He really gets it in every day. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. Let's not lose our heads though. Okay, well that takes care of that, but we still can't go that way, so. Let's check the map actually. What do you mean or okay, I know what that does. I actually don't. If we wanna go down. Is there a third leg of this? No, 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 that, that... How can there be a third leg? I'm not going to draw any conclusions quite yet. That's the cave that it came from then, so... And that's where the dead end is. So... There may be a third column. On this here map. Well, whoa, shooting star! Chat, make a wish. As soon as we get around this thing, I'm gonna kind of look up and to the left, and if there's beams, oh, we can't even see that high up though. So even then, it's not a guarantee. Hey, Danny. I mean, there, it looks like there's something in this direction that looks like it's worth checking out either way, but I'm just a little concerned, let's say. Oh, come on now. Who? Who? Oh, okay. All right, Danny. If you want it that bad. I wished for Keaton and Fire Emblem to be real. You can't say what the wish is or it won't come true. Look at what you've done. You and me here, what you expect? Yeah, we got them good. Piece of cake. What'd you find now? An angry banana? Okay, sure. Valak Peak? What do you mean, Valak Peak? This is far from it. I mean, I guess I appreciate the experience of finding a landmark, but what's here? Is it a hot spring? Do I get hurt if I swim in this? Hmm. Interesting. Black peony. It's like a little... 
there's a, if you look at the map here, there's a tiny little bridge that connects this to something over here, but I can't seem to figure out. This might be where I have to go. It looks like there's it looks like there's an entrance here. Yeah, it, it seems like it's a one way. So wherever that tunnel goes, it may be like an underground third col column of some kind. Ah! <sighs> Oof. There's water and ice area. Well, I think that was a hot spring, but yes. Huh! It looks like there was steam coming from that. I think if I pan back up, I'm too far away to tell now, but that was that was my guess. Maybe that's why it was a landmark. If it was ice water, I would imagine it would hurt me, but this game is full of surprises. Maybe it was just lukewarm water. You don't know. You don't know. This is a weird route I've taken. It'd be cool if this had like some sort of hero's path feature to like see the weird routes that you take uh, during ex exploration. But I guess not. This should be the spot. It looks like this leads somewhere that... Fuck, there's enemies nearby. A lot of them, too. Wait, what? No, there's not. Oh, I see, actually. Okay. I was looking for, like, a big cave, but it's more of, like, a, a canyon. Or a chasm. Filled with Danny DeVitos. Right, I'll try to round the west up into this too because these guys go down pretty quick and I don't want to fully restart things. More enemies! I can take y'all. I can take that. And then she'll get the run. She'll and get the hell out of here. Behold the power of the Monado! How good are we? Come on! Then we gotta remember to use the focus command a lot more often though, because otherwise, when I go off, everybody follows me and gets very distracted. Yeah. We can definitely do this. Yeah. You like that? Right. That's the spirit. Leave it to Ryan. Yeah! Now it's Ryan's time. Come on! Bring it on! Give me some space! Danny's getting upset. Powering up! Yeah, you don't got egg on your side this time. Also, how does it not occur to me to use... Could I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? That's full circle. Also, I did not mean to use the thing that I just used. Oops. I'm really feeling it. The second I, I come across any other like things to learn, I'm definitely replacing them because that's just a waste. Listen, I don't need any help in losing health. I don't need a dedicated ability that does that. Okay, so where the hell does this go then? It looks like there is an area to the right, but it, it doesn't. It's not like a broader, wider area. It's a bunch of like smaller, kind of trails, I guess? Which is something new, and I think it is going to lead us to the right place, but it is structured a lot differently. Not feeling the eggs tonight? Feeling scrambled? Aw, oh, homie. I'm sorry to hear that. See, the worst part is that now I'm already getting distracted because it branches so rapidly. But listen, if it can take us to like another like hidden area that gives us like another place to, to fast travel to, that's I'll take it, you know. I'm curious to find out though if, if this is like how we're intended to get here, like going down this instead of going up it. Cause I have no clue like where this could connect to, because it's so far off from everything else, right? Oh, I guess that's where 
Wait, so... So you mean to tell me... Wait, what? Fellas, chat, I think I'm feeling a little bit scrambled right now because... Because look at where we started. And then we went to this route, and then crossed this bridge. To get to the place where we just went to, all you have to do is hang right. And it takes you all the way to the bottom. No questions asked. No enemies in the way. Just a straight line. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Did they put this here? There's multiple points to get onto this thing. Now I'm beginning to despise that Ryan's arm is clipping through his weapon. Is it? There's a way to pull the camera back, but I forget how. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. Look at this. It's when he runs. Uh, I'll try like, running in a circle so he can catch up to me, but as is, I, I can't see it. Oh no, yeah, I can see it from the front. You're right, his elbow goes through it. Wow, oh, there was a chest down here that I missed. That is unbelievable. I mean, I guess if you've done the farming and you don't need to do any battles down here, that's... I guess there are options? But... But what if you're not, and that's just the first place you happen to decide to go? And what if you're like me, who wants to skip lots, but, but does not? Wait a second, is... The hot spring is above us. Yeah, this is Valak Peak again. And then... <gasps> oh, no, 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 no! Oh, this ain't right. Can we hide behind the rock, maybe? <laughs> They're not stopping! Okay, I guess that's what happens. <laughs> Are we like going at the exact same speed? Oh my fucking god. This is just that one scene in the in the Lion King. Also, I totally should have gone on that upper route to escape. Anyways, they stopped. Oh my god! Okay. Okay, I'll leave you to that. I'll leave you to that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that gives us a few more geographical pieces to work with. I think my next best guess here would probably be to take this route. Because it looks like that's going to connect to this upper area, whereas the other one goes underneath it. And I think getting up here and onto this like very, very bright upper path is the exact- it's exactly what we need, I think, to progress, because that's the only part that seems to go beyond, you know? I don't know what the hell the lower level is, but... I don't think it's considered we're not too far away. If we can get up there, that is. Okay, so we'll fast travel back to the start. Why is all the important shit on the right? I actually hate that it started raining as soon as it chased you and died down when it left. Are you talking about, like, um... Like, to you? Or is there rain near me that I don't know about? <laughs> you 
You know, I, I was once praising the structure of this, but now I'm a little upset. Because I went like literally everywhere except where the, the important stuff is. Wait, what? Thick ice wall. You need something to melt the ice. Oh, is that so? Oh, is that the case? Oh. Okay, so the entrance is there, but clearly a little more exploration is required. That said, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back up to the top where those uh, friendly little Nupon merchants are. I'm gonna ask a couple questions, and uh, if they don't have anything useful for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the un unthinkable. I'm gonna check a guide, cause you know what? Fuck that. Yeah. You going down mountain? And I want you to make path to re- This is a side quest. Which I believe I've already accomplished, actually. What do you mean, another thing? Yeah. So, some what nows? Five. I don't know what those are. Update yeah. again. I guess I apparently got five of them. I think I did this too. You so nice. Try searching for different routes. There's about four different ways to get down. Yeah. One more thing. Wanna what now? Eh? Hey. Did I do that? Thank you so much. Why not relax in the hot spring? I really recommend it. Yeah. Huh. Well, that was like a ton of free shit that I just got for work that I was doing anyways, but... Yes, no. Not really the information that I was looking for. Nice range of products. Well, is there anything that can like melt something? Is there, yeah. Can you buy key items? There's some Pokemon lingo. The uninitiated. Wait a second. That isn't much gold at all. Maybe I counted the zeros wrong. The sparrows peggles are the crabs. Ah. Peggle two! Huh. Well, give me a moment here. Xenoblade Chronicles Hot Mouth Ice. Just keep playing, soon you'll get a story mission to retrieve the item that can melt walls. What? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so as I understand it... As I understand it... Where we are going is to like here, right? There's a path of some kind, right? And I think once we get here, this is not the tower. What's here is like the thing we need for the ice. I think that's what's being recommended here. And then once we have it, then we take this route, which takes us past even that. And then it becomes what we need to do. Also, there, there was this road the whole time, and I wasn't even looking at it, so let's try actually this. I, uh... Where is that again? I mean, I guess I'm facing it. It's around this, and then... Why is it saying that I can go here? This is a giant wall, actually. And then the giant wall on the map is nothing. So I think they just make misplaced that. I is that what it's suggesting? Oh, so that's the way that I can't go. And then this is the dead end that forced me through this cave. And then that's the top. So I've, I've hugged every side. 
I've actually covered all the ground that there is to cover. So how the hell do you get down? There is. There is actually. One way. There is one way we have not. Now this is this is gonna be a tricky one. This is gonna be a long shot. But if it's possible to outrun that enemy, and we know that it is, right? If it constantly patrols that route. Because I was saying to myself before, when we were running for that for it, I should have gone up onto that side road instead because it can't chase us up there. What if I did that, which would allow me to get behind Horsey and thus allow us to follow that road right to the other side? Clearly, I don't think that that's the intended strategy, but that's what I call exploration and experimentation, so let's give it a go. What do you have for me? Hmm. So the horsey will show up as a red dot once we're close enough. But the question is, does it move because we trigger it, or does it move just on its own? Like on like a on a rail, back and forth. And will Danny DeVito ever leave us? Or can I go around? Also worth asking. Hmm. Yeah, I, it looks like it only triggers once you get to the end of this road. So if I just hop up on there, wait for it to pass, looks to me like we can get to the other side just fine, right? It moves because it can. Head this way. And then, yeah, okay, so that's what triggers it, okay. So just keep an eye out for a little road on the left, take it, and we're in business, baby. We gotta like wait for it a little bit. We got quite a head start. Don't gotta give it that much leeway. Yeah, it goes that way, and then... What now, right? I'm gonna wait for it to turn around, though, because if it despawns... Like that... Then it's just gonna be waiting for us at the beginning again. I don't know if I'm wrong about this or not, but I let's pursue this. Let's pursue this because I want to see what's back here. Oh no! Wait. No, it's gone. Okay. So what's out here then? Oh, oh, just a bunch of fucking level 90, level 100 enemies. Because I guess it operates on the assumption. Well, if you're here, clearly you're good enough to get past that guy, right? In battle. Yeah, I don't know what the, uh, <clears throat> what, the, what the strategy is to run away from these guys. It's swarming with this, these things. Why would you ever come here? And the worst part is that it's still a dead end. Well, these guys are all right, though. Yeah, this doesn't help us get down whatsoever. This is nothing. I mean, I try to look around a little bit more to like see what else is here, but I'm not really a uh, uh, large handcuffs. Here, Ryan, these are for you. Yeah, I'm not too um keen on exploring when when these horses are around. These menacing, menacing boys. Hmm. So if not there, then where? 
let's fast travel out of here, because I'm not playing any of these horse games, any of these reindeer games. So let's see. That's off limits because of, well, hold on. This is off limits because of a ledge. This is off limits because it's a dead end. This is off limits because it's a horse and also because of dead end. This is off limits because, wait a second. No, we've, we've never gone that way before, have we? We've gone on the upper path that overlaps that, but it looks like... It looks like there's something else there. Let's investigate, why don't we? Welcome to the farm, boys. I mean, there might just be, like, another ice thing there, but... I have found zero ways to the bottom, and if that becomes one way to the bottom, then, uh, then I'm a happy camper. A uh, shirtless, a happy shirtless camper, lathered in protective oils. God, this hopping! <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 we haven't tried this. There's like a cave here. Hello? Any enemas in here? Wait a second. What's here on the other side? Oh, shit. The oil that makes your abs steel and hard. Ice monkey! Apis lair. The ape lair. That's why we found a monkey. Hmm. I mean... Oh, it's these bees. Those are called... That's what those are called. But... But... That's... That's not... That can't be... They're hiding the fucking way down, and I don't know where to... I guess follow the lights would, would be one idea. <gasps> don't follow that, though! Ah! Yeah, I probably could have used a warp back anyways. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're definitely filling the map in a little more, which is helpful, but... Wait a second, it looks like there's another route from that point. I almost don't even want to entertain it, because first of all, this is a bright spot, so I think it's another steep ledge, and I don't think they would put an environmental blockade that requires story progress to get to here, and then just like leave a loophole behind it. I think there's just going to be ice on both sides. The real way has got to be somewhere down here, but... Like, all of this is off-limits. It's got to be something to do with all of this. But the question is how? You know what? Hold on, hold on. There is, there is one... ...mystery here, because this is not filled in. Is this a cliff? Or is that more of the descent? Okay, that's the cave that I came from. I keep getting confused because the wall is misplaced on the map here. No, there is something here, all right. There is something. Is that ice or is that water? <gasps> what am I looking at here? No, it's water. That's a scrolling texture and there's steam. What is this place all about? For some reason I can't climb onto this, but okay. No, this is this is something. Something's here. There is nothing here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Jump? The least they could do is put an item here, but Fuck. You would think that at the very least this would be like a good vantage point 
to see where the real way down is, but I do not see it. Oh, I see you though, buddy. Like, I've checked every spot on the map, and there's, there's no way to get to that flag right now. I mean, I'm sure there is, but... I'm just so lost as to what, what we could be missing. Like, what that missing ingredient is. What that secret sauce is, if you will. Tell you what, at the very least, though, we're probably gonna level up. Just what I needed. Bring it on! We can definitely do this! Look at this doofy goddamn dino. Well, that takes care of that, but still no level up, and still no earthly idea how to get down. There is that geyser, but I don't know if that's a, a piece of the puzzle or not as far as getting down goes. Unless you can, like, jump off of that cliff into the geyser? That couldn't possibly be it, though. It does get awfully close, now that I mention it, though. Could be worth a shot. And I'm also wondering what all this this bright ground is, and if we can reach that, because that could be something as well. It looks like there might be a road on top. Could be. Worth a little look-see. Because there is the cave that's like right next to it, but I, I'm sure I would have noticed something if, if anything was there, right? So you hung this wall, and then what? Oh, okay, so there is ground above it. There is a platform above this, but it looks like it's out of bounds. Well, actually, no, it's not. Actually, it's right here. You f Okay. The question is, is this the secret to solving where the hell I'm going? <laughs> seeing some enemies up here, or at least seeing their dots. But I haven't gotten, like, um... Oh, no. This is the home of the Danny DeVitos. Yeah, there's no little pop-up for this area yet, so I'm left a little curious as to why this place is. It's like goddamn geyser again. Okay, there it is. The Earl Crevice. What is this? Is that- Oh, I gotta take care of this before I can examine. Well, I guess at least you won't be able to say that I didn't explore thoroughly. Cause I'm finding like every single little side area this place has on offer. Weirdly enough, the one thing that I can't find is the main loot. Right, because all of that is what I came down from, and then it just all ends in an abrupt cliff. I could look into um, the opposite column again, but I, I don't see any like areas that fade off into anything that we haven't explored, like there is with this side, so it's got to really heavily depend, right? And I bet that flower no, that means something too. Wait, hey, what do you mean? Did we not get three? Oh, I think you have to do it after the quest is assigned. Okay. Wait, so what's this then? Pick? 
It's a frozen flower. It's transparent like glass. I guess it's just like a unique item. Weird. Still no way down, though. But that's the tower! It's, it's right there! So, so if I were to want to get right in front of that geyser, how would I accomplish that? Let's... Fuck. That's exactly what this connects to. That's the spot that I'm looking at. That's the one spot that I can't get to. So that might help you climb back up from that spot, but how do you get down? I'm gonna try jumping for it. I'm gonna jump for it. If we can get enough forward momentum, which without ice, I don't know if we can. If we can land in the pool where that geyser water is coming out of, then we could break our fall. I mean, there's a lamp here. What do you know? Well, apparently, nothing, because there's nothing unusual. can't get up there because of the there is no way I'm making that but it's worth a shot maybe from down here I can see wait it's, it's a cave there's a cave go on well now hold on that tells us a little more information now doesn't it Wait. D okay, okay. I felt like the spawn point left us where we died. No, we're still up here. So are there any caves that we haven't explored? Let's check the basement. Apparently it's next to a shop, whatever that means. So if it's directly beneath this... How do you access this? This is clear clearly for something else now. This is all unrelated. So if not that, then what? I'm like drinking in like every path here, trying to see what we what we've done and what we haven't done, but I'm not seeing any cave entrances of all things. And usually there's a pretty clear delineation of, like, what starts a floor and what ends another. And that's a dead end. That's been explored. That's been explored. And then this is all... Hmm. And we've been up here. We know that. Except... Except have we? No, we have. We got to there by doing this, and then the ice block cave is on this section, so that's... Hmm. But I wonder... Tell you what, here's what I'm gonna try, here's what I'm gonna try. I've tried all this side path, all the stuff that goes over and under and everything out of the way. What happens... We just go on a straight line down this hill. Where does that take me exactly? Because that is something that I have not tried. And when you look at a map, it, it'll, it looks like there's so little to find, but, you know, then you unpause and look at what's around you, and, you know, suddenly there's everything. So I think what we're seeing right here is, is the first, like, kind of fork. I mean, there's a cave, but... Let's pause again, see where that takes us. That's gonna be down through here. And then, that's kind of, I think this is the pool where we were at last time. So we've already tried that and that's generally the same space. So if we try going down this way, what do we find? Perhaps another cave. Huh. Especially because now that I do look at this a little more closely, I am seeing a teensy little notch, a little branch that doesn't seem to lead anywhere, but 
Maybe it does. Hmm. Actually, it looks like it's going up. It may lead directly into a wall, so... I don't know about that, but I guess that's worth knowing. Yeah, I honestly might wrap up some tonight, like... And then we can take another crack at this next time. <gasps> this dude is, like, legit almost level 100. Well, I guess that's why you don't take the main path. Yeah, there's nothing there but, but just... Extremely powerful enemies. And then that just feeds back into where you were before. <gasps> oh, that's a little close. A branch is just a branch, you know. Trees? What is targeting me now? This is the Monado's power! Listen, I'm already 46. I've got nothing to lose. Now it's your time. I guess now that I look at these things in a bit more detail, they're more so like, I guess, dragons than birds? I mean, they're, they're their own thing, but if I were to liken them to anything, they don't really got beaks or feathers, right? Wings is really the only uniting factor there. Then again, birds are dinosaurs and dinosaurs. Listen, <laughs> I feel like you've gotten into mammal etymology related arguments before. A lot of them. At least. I don't know if now's necessarily the time. Here's the answer. Fictional creature. There are waffles more as I was said. A Saurus. You'll lack this thing. Okay. Hmm. Well, that brings an end to the whacking, but does it bring an end to the sloping? I don't know. A creature? A troll is a creature! Yeah, this all converges in this one dead end. It all converges. So, uh, what could possibly be... I mean, we're, we're right here. The tower is right there, but now it's just a matter of getting down. How do you do that? How's that happen? How do you make that happen? How do you make the magic happen? Oh, you? You sneaky uh, creature. You're a little creature. Nice! Now we're getting started. Ryan, don't jump the gun now. <laughs> just what I need. I'll ring up. Ah! 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 We're all creatures in this chat tonight. Oh, That's, what I do. That's how it really be. For some reason, Who else wants to the side quest, even though I've got a million of them. I guess that's why there wasn't a reward yet, because it didn't do it? Okay. Weird that it doesn't keep track of that until it's too late. I mean, that's kind of like a structure, but... And then this is... And then... That's... Hmm. Huh. These drops look... Very, um... Misleadingly short. I always bite off way more than I can chew with those. And there's the tower. Right there, staring us in the, in the face. Are there any other bodies of water down there that we can possibly reach? I can't see anything that can help us down there. Not a thing. Except that, of course. We've never been so far yet so close. Look at that. That's so sad. That's so ah. sad. Huh. It's just right there. Huh. Just a tiny little hop away. 
That's all we need. Actually, I wonder if we if we can possibly. Not quite what I wanted there, but all right. There is still the cave question. Sorry. Griffin, please don't perish right here. Oh, funny you should ask. Funny you should urge me. I mean, it takes me back to the same fast travel point either way, so... Wait a second. Wait a second. Guys, this... This cave that I keep spawning in front of... I thought that that's where I came from, but... If you look above us, it's part of an overhang. Which is why it's not listed on the map. Let's, uh, investigate, shall we? Oh, how curious. Ooh. <gasps> oh! This is what I wanted all along. Hyperspeed ice! <laughs> Did I do it? Did I win? <gasps> I most decidedly did not. Where the fuck did I land? I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I mean, there's enemies here, so I mean, there is to some degree a, a necessity. Um, eh, fuck it. Wait a second, this isn't an antar. Hey, this is a barbaric sea tree, whatever the hell that means. I mean, it looks exactly the same, but we may not know what we're in for right now. Listen, I just, so I just cracked the fucking code, so I'll take a victory lap. Sure, why not? Plus, if I die, I can go down that slide again and possibly avoid this area altogether. Because if I do win this, I honestly don't know how I'm getting down. <laughs> it's an elite ant hole. What am I looking at right now? Good things are really heating up. Shala, fire it up. Where'd they go? What if I just knock this dude off the cliff? I don't Nice attack. I think we can do it. Ugh, I really didn't mean to waste that Monado right there. We can definitely do this. Here it goes. This is the Monado's power. Yeah, we're gonna need a shield lines on this donkey. Easy though, right? Not gonna... Shit. Mate, Where's your heart and a boy? Alright. We can definitely do this. Oh, hey. Ooh, speed on him too, actually. Monado! Save us from harm! Charlie's doing a lot of so you know, good for her. We can do even better. Well, for now. Let's get a shield in the party again. This dude cannot pick a lane, huh? The streamer's IQ grows. That'd be a new one. There's no end to them. Oh, I just use hearts, and uh, I just use. Yeah, I'm sorry, Charlie. We're gonna have to take that L. Or prematurely take the L. Do not want mine. Okay, sure. Discard. Is that revive? I guess so. See, here's the problem. The babies have descended the us. Everyone, let's go. Like I always said about those eggs. Just what I needed. Shut can definitely do this. No, not me. Shadow Eye. This oh, isn't going well. No. They're feasting on them. Go on. <laughs> Oh no, she helped me. Oh, well, look, look. I'm sorry, did not good. Why did the battle end? I'm losing it. Wait, don't rush off. 
A vision. Uh, all, all of our progress on that just disappeared, but we didn't die? I'm sorry. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's focus our efforts. And then anger the mama, and also die a second time. Also viable. Well, okay. Here's an alternate strategy. Um, don't do that, and uh, just go underneath into the actual slide, like you meant to do that first time. That really feels like an out-of-bounds place anyways, so... Listen, uh, I'm level 46, I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Yeah, and then this is the place that it kept falling to. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have guessed that that's how I get down there. Yeesh. The fact that this slide exists is really funny. I, I, I gotta agree with that. For a Xenoblade game anyways, I think that that's funny no matter what the game. But but yeah, I think given the very serious lose. tone. Don't let a single it's one like suddenly here's a slide that kind of exploits the movement mechanics. Yeah, I'm turning up the hate. They know exactly what they were doing. I legit think to some degree that the developers were like, Hey, this is kind of fun if like we don't put a cap on this. And then they like built more and more stuff around this because it was just so much fun to fuck with. Well, let's let's say for Xenoblade One because X and Two, uh, I don't think have that same kind of serious tone. At least as far as like being able to take it seriously. Because I can with this, but Two is like a fucking catastrophe. An embarrassment, if you will. Here's a funny ice slide that makes you go a hyper speed like Mario 64 in our RPG game, yeah. Why is there a heart to heart here? Listen, I'm just here to get blasted. The jacked geyser. Oh my god! Where's it? Ah, uh, sure. Fine. I just needed to be here to prove something to myself, though, you know? Why is there an exclamation mark here, too? I couldn't conquer this baby ledge before, but now I have. Huh. Wow. Really inspiring, isn't it? Well... Rest in- oh, there's something else down here, though. Yeah, I don't care about the researchers. They're fine. They're just trying to sell me shit. Ooh. Oh, okay, well this one's gonna die, though. I did not agree to that, but, um... Sure. Hawkswoods, Antlefire, Pouches, and I have none of those things. Don't take too long. Don't worry, I won't. I mean, I'll accept it. If I find it, I'll let you know, I guess. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Do we have those ingredients? Get it from hot monsters. Well, I have some. I guess we only have some of the ingredients, but not all. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, very specific hot food, I guess. Listen, beggars can't be choosers, buddy. I'd very much like to see this number completely plummet once we jump down. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, shave a couple units off, why, why not? 
the absolute unit. Okay, I don't think we can do a heart to heart, but I guess I'll check. Oh shit, wait, wait, wait. oh no, requirements aren't met. <laughs> For a brief moment, I thought, no. I should have known better, I've never been able to trigger a heart to heart successfully. Since like the first one at the very beginning of the game. Though, question, are those worth XP? Because I may be inclined, if that were the case, to find more of them. Oh, here we are. Here's the tower. See, these dudes are birds. These dudes I'm fine with calling with birds. But the other guy's more dragony, I think. Real story hour time? Oh, possibly. Possibly. Yeah, I think after this cutscene I might end the stream, because honestly, even if it's... There's something related to, to melting ice. I guess we'll see whatever goals this sets out for us and then... And then think of what we do from there? I don't know. That said, there is more ice wall, so we'll see. Sounds like that wiki knew a thing or two or, or, about what it was talking about. Ruins. I wonder who built them. What do you mean, Elvis? who built them? This the place it's you meant? It's ice. Mm -hmm. It appears to have frozen over while I have been away. Been away? Pay me no mind. We will need to do something about the ice before we can enter. Throw hot water on ice. Yeah, nice one, genius. Precisely. There should be a geezer nearby. Oh, in the cave that's next to it, has the... we will oh. find a stone <laughs> called magma rock. I thought the geyser itself and was the hot water. we can use this rock to melt the ice. I believe so. So, shall we okay. head to the cave? So this sounds good. We can melt two ice with one rock. Start looking for everyone. Uh huh. That's right, because when we first got here, there was like a cutscene that showed some kind of lava-looking area, so I guess that's what we're after next. Um, until then, though, because it's been... Oh my god, we're, we're... See, I was worried Cuphead was gonna take three hours, but the real threat here was perhaps in hiding. Listen, as long as we can get to this, you know, I could, I could as long as that story thing just happened, I can technically say we made progress. And I guess we did all the exploring that might have been done another time, so we'll see how useful any of that ended up being. Uh, but until then, that was Xenoblade Chronicles for tonight, and thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, you can follow me here on Twitch or on YouTube at The Full Galaxy, where all the VODs are, plus highlights and more. Uh, you can also subscribe to me here on Twitch if you particularly enjoy the stream. Uh, you can also check me out on Twitter, Tumblr, Pillowfort, and Discord. There is a Discord server that you can check out both on and off stream. And if any of that interests you, you can check it out in the Twitch cards below if you're watching this live. Or in the YouTube description if you are watching the VOD. Uh, so with that, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to stream a better game for next time. Uh, and have a good night.